In the game, there is a thing you can collect, much like Light's Blessing that gives you stamina and health. There's something called Sage's Will. And when you have four of these, you can upgrade any of your spirit heroes, uh, the sages that you have with you. Tulin, Yunobo, Sidon, Riju, and Miniru. And when you upgrade them, they'll do more damage and attack more often generally when they're following you around the world. Now there are 20 of these across the world. The first one I'm gonna show you is actually right over here. So we're gonna use the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower to fling ourselves in the air. And then we're gonna fly in the sky to this location right over here. On this little island, there'll be a chest that you can open and this will give you a Sage's Will, nice and easy. For the second location, we're gonna be at the, roughly in the same area, but this time we're gonna be using this location over here, which is kind of like a Death Star thing. And we're gonna be approaching it from the Water Temple Shrine where you can just jump off there and just glide all the way through the opening over here. You will have to angle this thing in such a way that it's like this, so that it's horizontal, so that this hole is cut off between the top and the bottom so that you can access the bottom part where the chest is located. And that's how you'll get the Sage's Will right over here. For the third location, we're going to be roughly in the same area yet again. The location is going to be right over here in the sky. We're going to be using the Water Temple Shrine or teleport location to glide all the way to here. And then we're going to be going to the north side of this island, jumping off and then going to the middle section over here. You can either use a slashing weapon to cut this. I don't have any right now. You can also use fire to burn the vines. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use fire to burn our way through. And once you get here, you'll see the chest is there. Burn this thing here too. Get in there. And this is where you're going to find the chest and open it up and you will get the Sage's Will. For the next location, it is another Death Star and you will have to fly through the hole. The location of this Death Star is near the Water Temple. Again, it's right by the tower version, but in the sky, you're going to again use the Water Temple so that you can glide all over here. So start here and then glide all the way here. Very nice and easy, so quite simple. You'll see this thing's rotating. You wanna kind of approach it when it goes underneath the side of the circle here so that you can get in the bottom. And this is where you'll find the Sage's Will for this little location. For the next Sage's Will, you're gonna be fighting this construct over here. It will drop the chest that you need. Now this construct is located right over here beneath the water temple. So it's not actually on the water temple, even though the map will make it look like it's on. We're actually beneath it. So you can still start over there. You just jump off the water temple and then you fly below, defeat that monster and you'll get the chest. For the next one, it's going to be another construct, but it's going to be a little bit further away. You will be gliding here from the water temple yet again. This is where it's located on the map, just to give you an idea of where you should fly. So starting at the water temple, you're going to jump off and you're going to glide southwest to this little location over here, defeat the thing, and you will get a Sage's Will out of the chest. The next location is going to be on this little floating island that is near a bunch of other floating islands. It's actually quite easy to get to. You're going to start at the Great Sky Island. This is where it's located right now where I am. But to get here, the easiest way to get to this little island here is to actually fly from the Great Sky Island. So from here, just jump off to the right and kind of make your way to this little spot over here. Nice and easy. Open up the chest. It's just chilling here and that's how you get it. The next one is another fight with a construct. The chest will be attached to it. You can rip it off and even you don't even have to fight the monster. But anyway, the location is right over here. So you can see using the Rebella Wetland Skyview Tower, you can jump in the sky and then just glide to the south until you reach this platform where you can fight the construct and get the Sage's Will from the chest. For this next one, you will need to follow the storyline that is the reveal the secret of the ring runes kind of quest line. Uh, there is a link in the description how to do this but it will take you to the Thunderhead Isles, which is this dragon in the sky. It's located right over here. This is the chest, it's gonna be here. To get to that little segment that it's on, you will have to attach a rocket to your shield and then hold your shield out so that you can fly up in the air and use the glide to climb up here because it's gonna be raining and lightning non-stop. I mean, non-stop. <laughs> Con stop. Do be aware, once you go in this hole, there will be an enemy over here, so do be careful. I hit around the corner here and lightning immediately came down and struck those metal blocks and destroyed it, which was fantastic. But here's the chest, and this is how you're going to get the Sage's Will that's right over here. The next one's super simple. If you're still on the Dragon Thunder Isles in the sky over here, it's just going to be along near the head. So once you've like reached the end point, it's going to be located right over here on the map where I'm standing right now. You just have to go open the chest and get the Sage's Will here. The next one is going to be another construct fight and fun tip is that you can land on top of them, use ultra hand, grab the chest, loosen it and just you don't have to fight these things guys. you just have to just get the chest loose and do that. Also fun tip, you can just use that to grab the special part of the monster out to make them fall apart. The location of this chest is right over here and in order to get to this location, the best way is actually from the Great Sky Island and just gliding from the top of here all the way down to here. 
This next one is located by a little pond that is to the west of the Great Sky Island. Again, we're gonna use the Great Sky Island to get to this location, but this is where it is. This is where we need to be. The chest is in the middle of that water on the right-hand side. So you're gonna start here from the Great Sky Island and just glide across to this little island. And then you're gonna raise this first platform here, hold it up for like a good 10 seconds. Once you've done that, use recall on it so that it stays up long enough for the water to drain and for you to stand in here so that you can open up the chest and get the sage as well as maybe collect some fish too. So this next one's a little bit tricky, so you're gonna have to pay extra attention. So it's right over here in the sky, quite an easy location to reach. You're just going to take a special tower to get to this exact island over here. So the tower you're gonna take that you're gonna fly into the air with is the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Fly up in the air and just glide to the northeast to get over here. Once you're on here, you're gonna jump off to the east side and you will see that there is a like under section of this little island. Use a sharp weapon or fire to break the thing. Proceed this direction where you keep seeing more of those vines. You are going to take the fire or use your sword to break this little section over here. There is a chest with a map in it. But before we go there, we want to attach these two mirrors because we're gonna take them with us, right? To turn this thing off, you just have to shoot with an arrow, go grab the old map. And then from here, we're gonna go down this area, but we're gonna take those two mirrors with us down to the bottom to open up one of those light doors. Of course, you need to do this during daytime. So we're gonna take the one mirror and we're gonna put it here in the light, but it has to be able to reach where we are standing right over here. And then we're gonna aim this one directly upwards in front of us because the button is above the gate right over here, just like that. And that will open it up. So you can see the green thing out the top there. You just have to aim the light there to get the sage as well. So this next one is very far. I don't know if I just did this in the probably the worst way possible, but I flew from the Great Sky Island right over here. I actually went to this island over here because this place is really high. I couldn't find a place to reach this easier. Maybe there's like a falling debris or something around to get to this location. But once you do get to this location, there's one of those construct enemies. Go ahead, defeat the enemy and you open up the chest to get the sages will. Good luck. This next one is a really big puzzle and it's also quite difficult to get to here. This is a giant Death Star. It's located in the middle left of the map right over here. There is an easy way to get here, though you're just gonna have to follow my instructions. So you're gonna fly from the tower. Technically, you're gonna take this tower and it's the Gerudo Highland Skyview Tower, shoot yourself up, and you're gonna land on this island over here. Here, there's one of those platforms that you can attach rockets to to make it go upwards. And once you get high enough, you should get a, a you know enough height to to reach this thing that's that's how i did it at least you're you're welcome to try any other method building a plane or anything that's that's how you can if you want so first we're going to land here at the bottom with the the capstan wheel and we're going to turn the light until one of the lights lights up a specific one which is right there next to the button on that side over here so aim the light over there so that it's going directly upwards and now you need to follow where it's going. So use the wind all around you and just follow where that light source is going. You can see it bounces off the roof and then it goes to this part over here. We're gonna go to this part over here to make this aim at something else and you'll see it'll light up that light and we just fly over there and we're gonna turn this one to point at the next one. So right like this, we're just gonna turn, turn, turn. It's actually better to like stand at this side here so you can see where the light's going. And then just wait until it bounces off of something which is gonna be that thing over there, just like that, nice and easy. Now this one can point at one of two buttons. The first button that is like right in front of you, you can see you'll have to aim it at the middle here which is what you're gonna do. And then you're gonna rotate the middle one to press that yellow one. But right now we're actually gonna go and point at this one to open up the door on the right just like that. So once you go here, you're just gonna fly to that room and inside this room, there'll be the sage as well. You can also go ahead and complete the other light to reveal a shrine in this location too. So go do that before you leave here. The next one is incredibly easy, though it is a little bit cold over here. So it's at the top left-ish of the map, right over here. You can get here by using the tower that is just north of it. So this tower right over here called the Rospro Pass Skyview Tower. And then you just go south, like fly south until you get to this island right over here. Pick up the chest, very easy. Now from the previous location, you should actually be able to jump down to this one over here, but this is a part of the puzzle. I'm just showing you how the solution works here, but this is where you get to the chest. So to get this one, it's at the top left as well. And to get here, you're gonna use a tower to fly to the lower end, because this one's too high. And if you're using the tower, you can only fly to the lower end, which from the Rospro Pass tower here, you're gonna fly to this island and then go up the rail just like I did and get the chest right over here, nice and easy. Now for the last three, they're gonna be at very, very far ends of the map that are gonna be difficult to reach. So this first one here is at the bottom right of the map, right over here. 
it is a nightmare to reach this location. You're gonna need <laughs> you're gonna need to build a plane. You're gonna have to have batteries. You might even have to eat or like consume a large Zonai battery. So starting from the Rebella wetland surface to fly to this location over here, you're gonna get to this little island over here. It's the best one that I could start from. And then you're gonna use your auto build to build a plane. And you're gonna quite simply fly towards the island, but also try to fly as high up as you can. I do recommend consuming one of these large Zonite charges so that it doesn't consume your battery life. You can also wear the Zonites, uh, Zonites armor set. I think Zonites is the right word, right? Yeah, I think so. Which will give you like double usage for the battery that you do have. Once the plane or the wing breaks down, you will have to glide the rest of the way. I do recommend having some stamina food in case you mess up. You'll also need to use Tulin to do a gust of wind. And you will have to fight a King Gliok for the next three, like this one and then the final two ones, which all you have to do is shoot them in the face, right? So you have to destroy all of the faces, then they'll fall down to the ground, and then you whip out your damage, do as much damage as you possibly can. It is a tough fight. I'm not gonna lie to you, these are very, very hard. Like, these are the hardest thing I've had to fight in this game. I'm only gonna show you this one fight to give you an idea of how to defeat them because they're quite difficult. Use something around you and your surroundings to climb and jump and use bullet time, which is the slow motion effect, obviously from using your bow, just so that you can get the slow-mo effect so that you can aim at their faces because it's really hard to shoot their faces otherwise. This part of the, the, the fight is incredibly easy and, and okay to do. The final part of the fight, when it flies up directly high into the sky, is where things get really broken. Also, I highly recommend using a linel bow if you do have one, because that, that way you only have to shoot each face one time. This is the part where it flies up high in the sky once it gets to like the last 25% of its health, and it's disgusting. I hate, I hate this part. It shoots lightning down at you that takes many, many hearts, as you can tell, which makes wind after that. But that is fine, because that's how you're going to use the wind to fly upwards. The problem is, is that it will also do icicles and fire and different things, which will knock you out of the sky. You just have to use the wind to get high enough so that you can shoot it in the face. And it's very difficult when you keep getting knocked down out of the sky like this and not getting high enough to hit it. It's... If you guys have a guide on how to dodge the icicles, I would really appreciate some tips on how to do that because I get so frustrated with these things. Ultimately, the only way I'm ever able to actually beat these guys is by having a lot of food that restores my health and then just trying to ride the wind and not get hit by any icicles so that I can hit their faces with arrows so that they can fall down so that I can kill them for good. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's how you do it. Nice and easy. The chest will then unlock and that's how you get your sage as well. And now you just have to do it another two times. Now I'm not gonna show you the other two fights because it's just long and tedious. But here's the location for the next one, which is gonna be, we're gonna start here and we're gonna fly to this island at the bottom left of the map. Also very, very far. I hate that these things are so far away to reach. But we're gonna start here, which is the location that we were at previously when we had to get to the giant Death Star, which you can reach that location by using the Gerudo Tower that's there. The next location, the final location for the final dragon is gonna be located at the top left of the map, right over here. This one's a little easier to reach, but also not really. It seems easy, but it's very high up in the sky. So what we're gonna do is actually get to that island over there where that shrine was, and then you're gonna build any device that you can to reach this location and fight that dragon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.